Let's get into it. Welcome all to Winner's Bracket 3.1. Yep. Best of five, Clash of the Classes, Round 6, Season 6. Sufso versus Raider. Sufso bringing with them. Oh, look, a Georgia. Oh, look, a Prince Ruprecht. Oh, look, an Octorev. Oh, look, a Julio. Oh, look, a Minikaze. <laughs> In other words, the same lineup that we've seen them play basically all season. It's working for them, so why switch it up? And nobody has seemed to find a way to defeat it. Opposing them to the south is Raider. Wicked Nemesis in the Lennon. We've got uh, Adal 451 in that Turpid's Black again. True Son of Rome in a Repulse. Elusive in the Massachusetts in basically the same exact spot he was in last time. And Sakura in the Minikaze, so the same lineup there as well. All right, so my co-caster has returned after eating. Adaw is in trouble. Oh, big hits there on him from you writes uh, Georgia, and it looked like the JJ's Revolution got in on it too. Come on up. How's your butt looking? I guess it's okay. True Son of Rome going broadside gets smacked. You can't go broadside to a Georgia. Ouch. That's 15k that you won't have back. Stream Raiders is ready. I'm going to do that off stream. And I'll go ahead and pull our winner for our uh, giveaway as well. Philip Greenwood. Philip needs to send me a message if he would like to claim his code. So far, I haven't gotten a whisper from our other winner either uh, today, and that would be Thunder130882. Get another giveaway going. All right, and look at that. Just like that, we won our uh, boss fight. Stream Raiders, I didn't get a chance to alert you guys how boss fights work, so we'll do that again next time. Aside from some early hits, I'm not seeing too much uh, to, to talk about just yet. Plasmatic is now being focused down by two secondary battleships. But you can see the torpedoes coming in as well from the Ruprecht. Elusive turns just barely dodges those torpedoes. Nice dodge. Oh, but wait, there's more coming in. These are the Minikaze torpedoes. He'll dodge those two, it looks like. Raiders Minikaze is in a nice position to grab the sea cap behind the Massachusetts. Looks like Ada has chosen to bow into the threat here. He's committed to dealing with the Georgia. Philip, thank you for messaging me. I'll get you after this game. Stevie is happily on my lap. All is right in the world. Oof. And we have Elusive quite low early on here in this Massachusetts. 
Think he knows he's out? Popping off a heal. He's got his DCP active. He's trying desperately to kill Plasmatic. Can he do it? No. He hurts him, but not enough. Revenge pops his smoke to try to uh, block line of sight. Wasn't necessary anymore, but nice idea though. Good use of smoke there. ADOS stops. My guess is he's trying to get the B cap, but remember what I was talking about with battleships and stopping? Uh, this Ruprecht is going to turn right around, and yep, it's it's almost like, you know, I don't know. <laughs> it's just funny. I just happened to look, and there come the shells. So, the Turpitz is now choosing to go after Plasmatic's Ruprecht. That ain't gonna work. And he's uh, also just sitting there broadside, so here come some more shells that will probably kill him right here. And they do. Another good clip moment. If anybody's looking to make some clips, I'd really appreciate it if you would. It's always nice to show some amazing plays uh, for all posterity, because I'll take those clips, I'll make them into YouTube shorts and all that, and we'll put them out there. Well, game one looks pretty strong for stuff, so I, I gotta say, I, I don't think there's an easy way for them to... Uh, is it, there's an easy way for them to lose, as now the Ruprecht has a broadside Lenin to shoot at. See what I was talking about with the two tier nines just going off to the flanks and they just dumpster whatever's in the middle? Nobody can seem to deal with that. Cruz on a roam now in the middle when the repulse getting smacked. This Georgia Salvo will probably kill him right here. Three minutes left in the game. Quack. Small maps plus high tier ships equals very difficult. You cannot afford to show broadside. And when they go wide like that, you can't show broadside to either. So. Um, yeah. On the bright side, Sofso does lose their, their Octorev. Now, if you were watching me in my stream yesterday, I commented many times about how that Octorev managed to survive. Revenge gets a torpedo, goes down. The Minikaze duel ends with Radar's Minikaze on top. This Lenin trying desperately not to take a ram. Looks like he's going to turn in too hard. He actually had the ram dodged. But he turned in a little bit too hard. They're probably figuring that the rear turret of the Georgia was ready to fire. And he would just give up for free. So take the ship down with him. That does leave the Prince Ruprecht and the Julio for Team Sufso. And the Minikaze for Team Raider. I tell you, this is the bloodiest battle for Sufso that we have witnessed. So at least there's that. At least there's that. Okay, Stevie wants to go back to his bed. There you go, bud. I'm gonna go ahead and preemptively mark Sufso as winner of that first match, or first game. Nice blind shot there by Lord Carey. And soccer just opening up now, realizing it. it let's, just, let's just end it. Who cares? Thank you for that. Provides me with... Oh, don't smoke. Provides me with a death pick, but it also uh, helps us move on to another game should this end in a 3-0 massacre or something. And there we go. Plasmatic Titan... Gets the kill, secures the win, and I get a death pick. Congratulations, Sufso, for winning game one.
All right, Raider is reacting to Sefso's lineup. So Sefso bringing with them the same Georgia we've seen all day. Same Ruprecht, same Octorev, same Julio, same Minikaze. Closing to the south is a slightly different lineup. That would be Minikaze. Uh, Lucif now in a Rio. He's been demoted to a tier 5 battleship from his tier 8. And that's because of the change in their lineup. Your son of Rome has his own Octo Rev now. Ada is now in a secondary spec, Palmer and Black. And Wicked Nemesis is now in a Georgia. That is set up more for guns than secondaries. And it looks to me like they spawned completely opposite of what they wanted to do. The Georgia probably wanted to go off to the flank, and the Palmer probably wanted to be on this side flank. Problem with that, it'll take a long time to redeploy. And I think they're better off just going straight for it. Meanwhile, it looks like Jesse or uh, Ye Wright is going to go straight at uh, into Delta Two with his Georgia, and you can see that um, Plasmatic is already moving. Soccer detected momentarily. All the shells, all the secondaries coming out after him. Really good focus uh, focus fire by Team Stuff. So didn't really make much happen out of that, but it doesn't matter, you know. They got the focus fire in. Looks to me like Raider has changed their decision. They've realized it's going to take too long to redeploy, and they're just going to go for it. So they're sending the Pomeran and the Georgia, both tier 9s, up this flank. Hmm. Good luck. I don't know how that's going to work out for them. We'll find out. Ah, uh, E. Wright has kind of sensed the movement as the Georgia and Palmer were both detected. He's realizing he's in trouble. He's backing off. The smart play there. Let's try to watch it from his perspective for a little bit as secondaries start raining into him. And his secondaries start going into Ada's Palmer. Ruprecht has made it to the opposite side of the map. He's lost a good amount of hit points for doing so. But as you can see, he's going to help his buddy out. He's looking for those flanking shots. And this is the problem with this map. When you try to push one side, you give your side to the other side. And it just turns into kind of a cluster. So... They have a shot at this, and if you ask me, their shot is if Wicked Nemesis hits full W and aims at the Ruprecht. Especially right now. Oh, never mind, the torpedo's expired. But they need all focus fire on this Ruprecht. They cannot afford to let it sit there and just have its way with whatever it wants to. That's what they've been doing. That's what teams have done uh, so far. They've allowed this Ruprecht to live. Plasmatic, though, realizing the threat he's under has gone straight into this island. He's diving the island, which means he cannot be shot at. And then Revenge pops the smoke. This is the kind of destroyer teamwork we haven't seen much of. And now Plasmatic can just sit in smoke. Secondary is blazing on both opponents. And as long as he doesn't shoot his guns, he can just sit there and wait. And that allows for precious time for his heal to come back up again. Meanwhile, on the other flank, Wicked Nemesis in the Georgia and Ada in the Palmer in Black are very much worse for wear. They are horribly trading.
because of that positioning. Frankly, I would have loved to have seen a ship, one of those two, probably the Georgia, the way it's specced. This is not secondaries. I would have loved to have seen that ship on the one line on the complete map border working its way up. But um, it is what it is. Ships have been positioned where they are. Revenge detected in the Minakaze. We know he doesn't have smoke available. As now, Soccer tries to say, well, you know what? Yeah, I could smoke up my battleship too. And he does. But... I think Revenge is going to get at least one or two torpedo hits here. One. One torpedo hit. On elusive. But wait, there's more because, of course, not only does the Ruprecht have great guns, not only does the Ruprecht have great secondaries, Ruprecht also has torpedoes. There goes the Georgia. Kind of figured that was going to happen. So Radar has, has invested heavily in two Tier 9s. Unfortunately, those two Tier 9s just kind of sat and got shot at. And one is dead. Big hit there on Son of Rome. Fire started. Ye right. Yeets out the Octo Rev. And we got three minutes to go, but I'll tell you what, Raider down t two ships already with. They're, uh, with both of their remaining battleships low. Actually, this one's a... Oh! All skill, no luck. Wow. I mean, he, he's gone. He's gone. The secondaries will finish him off. Quack. He actually burns out to the Julio. Wow. Plasmatic still survives. And heals. So, uh, yeah. This game is over. Sufso is going to go up 2-0 over Raider. This is a best of five, so Raider's got one final chance to uh, stay alive. Otherwise, they will be pushed down into the loser's bracket. Lord Carey does take a uh, torpedo. And there he goes. Georgia seals the deal. 60 points left in this game for uh, Team Raider. And uh, I don't think we have any other opportunities for death picks other than watching that Minikaze die. So I suppose we'll watch the Palmer and go down. Because I don't think I have a, a good death pick of the Palmer in black yet. That being said, we might not have enough time to, to set up for that. I don't think we'll have enough time. Two minutes left. Soccer is choosing to open up, which is nice. All right, we'll, we'll hurry up and end. Hurry up and end, hurry up and end. No! All right, well, whatever. The broken back of a Palmer in black. Hey, that rhymes. Oh, okay. Still haven't had to use that reverse overlay I made. That's cool. All right, welcome everybody to game three. Sufso versus Raider. Sufso up two. This is a best of five. So if Sufso wins, that's it. If Raider wins, then we continue to game four. Y'all know me. I always like to go for whatever extends the match. So I will be cheering for Raider this game. I hope you will as well. Give them your energy. Here we go. Sufso, Minikaze, Julio, Octorev, Ruprecht. Georgia. All doing the same thing. Opposing them. Team Raider. Wicked Nemesis in a Lenin. It's like a tank build Lenin. Adob back in the Turpets Black. True Son of Rome in the Repulse. Elusive Six in or Syrinx in the Massachusetts Black. And Soccer in the Minikaze. 
So Raider went back to the same lineup they used in game one. They must have felt better about how things worked there. I got to say that map on Polar, uh, they got kind of screwed based on their spawns, but whatever. Julio fires, gets nothing. Of course, they're hoping for an early fire, right? Big destroyer slap fight at the A cap. Looks like Sufso is putting the Ruprecht at A, and they're going to just hold their Georgia at C for right now because of their current positioning. Um, with the way the spawns worked and stuff, the Ruprecht kind of got screwed. So they're forced to go to their side. Lord Carey getting secondaried for a bit here. Revenge goes ahead and pops a smoke to try to prevent Vision from the Minakaze, which they expect to be to the south. And they are correct. All right, Wicked Nemesis moving up in the lane, and he's going to get into the sea cap. He's been spotted, but nobody can really shoot him right now. He does see the Georgia spotting plane, so he knows the Georgia's over there. Meanwhile, Turpitz goes into the B cap. Octo Rev detected. Now the Turpitz knows the Octo Rev is there. So they're starting to get some ideas about ships and positions. Obviously, Minikaze is still at A with that smoke. They know the Julio is here. They haven't spotted the Ruprecht yet, but that's about to happen. Is Elusive going to get a good firing angle? His turrets are not turned properly yet. Plasmatic opens up. Nothing. All right, so it's Plasmatic, Lord Carry, and the Minikaze against the Repulse, Massachusetts Black, and Minikaze. I got I to gotta give the edge to Sufso and the Ruprecht here, but we'll have to see what happens. Meanwhile, uh, Ye Wright has reversed out of his cover, and he's done that so that he can focus on resetting CCAP. And reversing out of the cover is smart. He did it in a way that allows him to stay angled. So Wicked Nemesis is dead. I mean, it's only a matter of time. You see e Wright is using HE in the barrels. His focus is just on burning down the Lennon. Lennon, of course, has a finite number of damage control parties. He's already burned one. He's got one left. Uh, he's got four left, I mean. He's about to burn another one because he's on a double fire, it seems. He's trying to heal through this right now. But between all the secondaries and the, the fires from the primaries of the HE uh, shells and all that, it's just, uh, yeah, he's dead. So if that's the case, what I'd love to see happen at this point is Ados Turpitz move forward. He's just kind of sitting there going fishing or something, but he needs to go forward and he needs to cut left. If he could do that, he can surprise the Octo Rev, he can torp him, whatever, and then he can get on the flank and threaten everything down to the south. Plasmatic Titan's at half health right now. Torpedo's coming in on Revenge. Oh, that's a brown alert for Revenge. Elusive quite low. Son of Rome somehow quite low. Ruprecht OP. Now, it was asked, can the new, um... Uh, we, we were asking that, can the new, um... What is it? Um... I don't remember the name of it. Carl? Yeah, I think it's Carl, right? Carl 14th, whatever. Can, uh, can people take that ship? And the answer is no, because it's too new of a ship. 
Plasmatic moving forward. Revenge trying to get on the flank here. Plasmatic already taking down the repulse. Elusive found the border, had forced to turn back around again. And there are torpedoes coming in on Plasmatic right now. Can Soccer get this kill? Oh! Oh, Revenge takes a torpedo to the face. Plasmatic goes down to torpedoes. Revenge now spotted. Shots out on Revenge. Revenge goes down. The Turpets, it's like he was listening. He did exactly what I said. Go forward and get that get that smack kill. And just like that, we have we have a game. We have a good chance for Raider to get back into this. Although, they're going to lose. Revenge gets his revenge on the Massachusetts Black. Julio by himself deals with the Minikaze. Good luck with that. And I'm very impressed the Lenin has actually survived, partially because the Georgia has been called back to deal with the Turpets Black. Turpets going through the channel like that. Georgia is the bigger threat. Or sorry, the Turpets is the bigger threat. Take the Georgia, move them there. I don't like that the Lenin curled in like this, but okay. Uh, stop, get the cap at least. The Lenin should have gone north, get behind the Georgia. That way the Georgia doesn't have to see see both people and angle to both people at once. Um, if I'm Wicked Nemesis, I'm actually, once I get C, I, I might just head straight south. I might just head straight south to B and um, let my turpets just go and ram. But this should be a ram, by the way. This should not be... The Turpets is going for the disrespect with the torpedoes. Misses them. Might take a salvo for his trouble because of that. Nope. The Lenin is there to stop that. Okay, so that actually worked out well. That actually worked out well. Okay, Stream Raiders is ready. We'll do that in a few moments. Uh, this game. Wow, Raider found a way back in. They went with a comp they're more comfortable with. And you can kind of get the feeling like they are comfortable with this comp. And they made it work. That's fantastic. Now they just have to do it two more times. <laughs> Which would be awesome if they, if they could, honestly. Um, we'll have to see. I don't think I'm going to get a death pick on this one. This will be the second battle that Sevso lost today. The first one on the count of their one of their tier fours disconnecting. Lord Carrier with another guest shot. I can only imagine that being a guest shot. I came really close to the Minikaze. Again. Thirty-eight seconds left. Torpedoes in the face. Lord Carry knows it's all over. Ooh, Minikaze detected and slapped. Absolutely slapped for his insolence. And that'll do it. No death pick for us this game. A very good attempt by both teams. Raider up one. Boom, there we go. So, Sufso in the lead, two to one, going to game four. All right, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna need, now we need to use their flipped spawns. All right, let's do that, let's do that, boom. So, so red, raider in green, here we go. Raider 
in the green, bringing with them the same lineup. Massachusetts, Repulse, Lennon, Turpitz, with Amina Kaze in front. This is big race. So we'll go take a look at Sufso's lineup. But first, trains. All right. Moving right along. Let's go back to Sufso. And what do you know? They're running the same lineup as well. Minikaze, Prince Ruprecht, Georgia, Octorev, and Julio. Once again, looks like their spawns are kind of problematic for Sufso because Ruprecht wants to go left and Georgia wants to go right. At least that's how they played it last time. Let's see what Raider does here. How they're going to set up. It looks like they're setting up their Tirpitz and their Massachusetts to go to C-Cap, and their Lennon is probably going to start diving towards A. Alright. Well, let's go ahead and by way of that rail yard once again, let's go fly back over here and take a look at the overall map. So y'all can see what's going on from a distance. Now, Big Race is one of my favorite maps in this game. I always liked it because it's a small map. You have lots of action. And, you know, you play it at a time when you really don't care about winning so much. You know, you, you play it at a time when you're just enjoying uh, the game. Right? You're grinding your tier 3s, your tier 4s, your 2s, and maybe your tier 5s, and, you, and you're, you're just having fun. Plasmatic got hit early. Decent uh, salvo there from... I'm guessing that's the Massachusetts. He had his plane up. Minikaze on Minikaze action at the sea cap. And Georgia is doing exactly what we expected him to do. Go up north of 10 line. Alright, let's see what happens over here. We got the Ruprecht going into B now. Very very strong position for a Ruprecht. Already taking some more hits for his trouble. More shells inbound on Revenge. He takes a little bit of hits, not too much. Let's go look at the Ruprecht's positioning. Lined up over here, heading northward a little bit. Ready to go. Ready to make something happen. And there's a Massachusetts looking right at him. Coming in with secondaries ablaze. More shells coming in. That looked like the Turpit's black. Back off and see what's happening at A. We've got... Uh, JJ in the Octo Rev, of course, with the Julio Cesare as well behind him, working its way up into the A cap. That's Lower Carry. And at this point, all three caps belong to Sufso. Some very long-range broadside shots from the Georgia on Lennon. Lennon dodges those, but I'll tell you, if I'm Nemesis, I, I, I'm moving forward. He can't afford to sit here like this. He's not even looking. Oof. Could have been really bad. Ah, alright. He's focusing on the Octorev. Decent hit into him. 
Here comes some more hits from the Georgia. I see. So the Lenin Wicked Nemesis is backing up and turning as he reverses instead of advancing forward. Okay. Repulse firing at a broadside. Julio clobbered him. Lord Carey forced to heal. Secondaries from Elusive now coming into him. That sets a fire. His DCP is available, though. Five-minute five minute warning. And currently, with no ships down, there's an advantage to Sufso with the point lead. Raider does pick up the C-cap, so they are taking points there. And now with the Massachusetts Black is in the, the B-cap, they are starting to stall. There you go. Soccer's got to be careful here. He just got himself detected. His smoke's available. Choosing not to smoke right in front of the Georgia. Shots on revenge. Big hits on revenge. He's not smoking so that he can stay... Uh, he can keep this Minikaze lit. Revenge. Still lit. Still, still coming in. They need the kill. They need to kill this guy if they want to have a, have a really good chance at winning. Soccer smokes up. Because Soccer turned, he wasn't able to keep his guns on Revenge. Revenge goes dark and survives for now. Meanwhile, Ruprecht is chasing the Massachusetts. And Lord Carey's almost dead. In the B-cap. Here he goes right here. No. Yes. Turpitz gets him down. But Elusive takes a big hit there from the Octo Rev. And a torpedo from Plasmatic finishes the, uh, the job there. That's huge. The inability to kill Revenge here is gonna is gonna haunt them because, I mean, you're gonna see it right here, right? Adol's gonna take a torpedo. He's quite low, and now that the Georgia finishes him off, and at this point, this game is not looking good for Team Raider. They only have two battleships left. Both of them are at A. Can Ye Right get some get? Take some torpedoes. It looks like he's not going to. Just take the one, maybe? No, doesn't even take any of those. The Ruprecht spots. Minikaze. Hits him really well. And, of course, there's this thing called Hydro. Takes him down. Lennon gets a nice shot into the Ruprecht. But it's, it's just too little too late. All right, uh, Repulse does take out the Octo Rev. Plasmatic needs to die like yesterday. Before his heals, nope, his heals available. Too late. And they know that too. They're trying desperately to get this kill. Lennon going north. That means True Son of Rome is, is all that's left to deal with this uh, Ruprecht. Yeah, I just don't see it coming. Not with only the bow turrets. We got some spice to report on that's happening in the other side of the bracket. I'll on that in just a moment. Those shells. Where did those shells go? They all just disappeared. I hate when that happens. I have a brilliant salvo and a battleship. I know it's going to look good. I fire my guns and the shells just... They just... They don't exist. They disappear. Nemesis wants to go in, but he knows he can't because, well, there's Revenge's Minakaze right there. Uh, and now he's showing way too much sight to, to e Wright's Georgia. He does get the kill on the Minikaze, but he's going to die for it right here. Oh, he does take out the Ruprecht, though. And that leaves a low health repulse. Nope, never mind. He just died. All right, well, let's get set up for a triple death pick. Could I even get the other one? No. Eh, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, kind of. There we go. Quadruple death pick. 
with the island in the center. And with that, Sufso wins this matchup 3-1. to one.